your operating meeting. It's a vigil. We will get our last night very soon. We are in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And this is for the young people here. We, we have a huge program for you. We started the program with the pandemic and put a pause on it. Now we're going to restart this program for you. Uh, uh, inspired by the Holy Spirit, I've always had this 70 point agenda for reaching youth, which we are successfully executing back in Nigeria. The other thing is the only church in the whole of Africa. And the most part of the world, really, that has the full book of the first division. Divine encounter. Isaiah, I'm a 
children and the lady of the heart and heart because the mouth of Isaiah was his God. Put that fire on his lips. And said, so, No, this is not true that is. But the Lord is taking away from the same touch. That was an effect of the divine encounter on the man as written in the scripture. In Job chapter 42, verse 5, that's the scripture we are reading now. Job chapter 42, verse 5. I see somebody here tonight. That which the doctors have said, and which they have given to you as a clinical professor, is counsel right now in the name of Amen. I don't know who you are, but it's counsel right now in the name of Job chapter 42, verse 1. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see thee. It's a different thing to hear about Jesus. It's a different thing to hear about the Lord. It's another thing for your eyes to see. Before I go in and out, on the mountain of fire and rainbow space, it's not just the church. It is a movement. Amen. It's a movement. One day somebody called me from Russia and said, hey, General Person, I can see prayer link in Moscow airport. I don't know why you're going to. Send me prayer link at that airport. Who did you cook it there? How did you get there? Then there was a time I went to one of the Caribbean Islands and the, all of them jumped around me and said, yeah, this, you, you wrote this book, you wrote this book, you wrote prayer, then you wrote prayer, you wrote, they mentioned all the names of the books. I was, I was one of them. So it's not just, uh, it's not just the church, it's a I was in South Africa. I was like, in South Africa. The white lady saw the banner of the crusade on the body of the banner. We have a Christian, we have a Christian in South Africa. When she saw my name, she drew me. She pursued the man. To know where the man was going, the man took her to the Christian car. She begged the pastors to see me. She brought her to my office. Ten minutes before I could go to the office. And immediately she said, Excuse me, are you a Christian? I said, Yes. Years ago, they are now back as adults with trouble. 
Every time we do a good thing, we say, Pastor, the press team is filled up with people who, in their young ages, have played so many things out of their lives that they don't do so. So, please, everybody is required to know that when you're in a situation, don't run to them, stay away, don't ask them to run there, the enemy push you from fire to something. A good idea is not necessarily a good idea. And it's not all that big task that is good. Any service you are doing for God, to where God is not stationary, is like scoring a goal after the breath of doing the cannabis. You will receive no reward because of what you have done. Just a short before, then you are just Now, the reason you are reading about the Bible was because it had an account. The reason you are reading about the Bible is because it had an account. It did buy an account. The reason you are reading about the Bible was because it had a divine account. The reason you are reading about Isaiah, the Bible, which you just read, is because it had an account. The reason you are reading about the Bible in the Bible is because it had an account. The reason you are reading about Amos, Ezekiel, the Bible, because they all have their boundaries. The reason you are reading about Paul in the Bible, and, and he wrote part of one of the books in the New Testament, is because he had an account. You need a divine account. Everybody needs a divine account. Moving from place to place is not what you need. Trying this time, that is not what you need. Carrying out random sample of places is not what you need. What you need is a divine encounter. A divine encounter is stronger than jumping from place to place and hospitals. You need that divine encounter. So if you want to leave your footprint on, on the sands of time, what you need is a divine encounter. 1974, a preacher was invited to our church. The preacher came all the way from Ghana. Strange preacher, different from the kind of sounds we used to listen to in our church. Most uh, strange because uh, the, for the first time in our church, normally you stand by the preacher. That was a picture of the place. He comes down and walks over to the place and jumps back and jumps in, jumps and keeps jumping all over the place. But what is he talking? Different from what it was to He was talking to us about divine visitation, talking to us about us knowing God personally. He spoke that day. He touched my book. And he said, We should start calling. What I had was so serious, I prayed like there's no other time to pray the prayer. God was afraid because he jumped down on that of it. Came to where I was praying at the back like a mad prophet and made up to my And the service closed. That day was as if I shouldn't go out anymore. I said, just look up and say, what do you do? And just pray much of it. For three days, I didn't know why I was too much. That was my first experience of having a divine encounter. It is because of that divine encounter that you are knowing me. Probably this is the reason why I knew it. It was a basic encounter. Later, the Lord took me to heaven. Took me to heaven. Was there, I saw the beauty. I saw the wonderful beauty. There is no, there is no music here. That's what is music. Pretty beautiful music. But one thing I can never forget. If I close my eyes, I can see things. I open my eyes, I can see. But one thing I can never forget is the joy on the faces of those who are in front of us. I never forget the joy. Yeah, it's nice to know here. That's what I was here. That's not a big issue. That's what I was here. Join on their faces. When I saw them, 
Recovery starts from discovery. Oh, 
God is a God of the living and not a God of the dead. If Adam is saved, I don't want to happen. The first deed is that God
sing. Let us pray. Let us pray. And see what the goes of your gift. I command the power to die.